Okay, what's going on, people? I think I got it. I think I got it. I'm not sure. In this tutorial, I'm going to uh, show you guys how I fixed... Uh, I had a problem with my LFS, and I'm assuming you had the same problem, too. Uh, where, even after, in the last tutorials, uh, when I set up a lot of the uh, IWconfig, IY list, um, IY spy, IY priv, all those commands uh, did not work. Okay, and I think I got it now, and this is what I came up with. Okay, <coughs> you may notice um, this as a popular uh, output that you may have gotten back. Okay, with LFS, and if you followed my tutorials close enough. If you were exact with it, and you didn't go your own way, if you went your own way, you might have been, you might have fixed it. But if you followed me to the T, this could be an issue. Matter of fact, I'm thinking this would be an issue for you too because it's a, um, it's not really a device specific issue as far as the driver goes with a wireless card or certain kind of card. It's actually like a, um, it's an operating system issue. Let me show you how to fix it. Okay. And it, it, pretty much what happened was, if you typed an IY list and hit scan, this is my output here. Um, we had our while and O, yes, but it says it doesn't support scanning. Okay, and you might have uh, experienced the same thing with this here, with IY config and try to set your um, your ESSID. Okay, even though it don't have DH clients, so you couldn't really connect to it anyway. If you tried to set the ID this way, you could have got back this, and this is the error that I got. Okay, well I Google, go hello, oof. I Googled this error. Okay, and I had to dig really deep. Um, but I Googled this error, and this is what I came up with. Okay, uh, follow my mouse cursor here. Sorry, I can't give you any highlighting lines, but I can zoom in, huh? I think I can zoom in. Yeah, that's a little better. And I'll move down. Actually, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. That's good enough. What happened was, after I googled that error, I kept getting uh, a lot of people talking about config CFG 802.11 WXT. Okay. Well, this is a uh, config 802.11 uh, wireless extension. Okay. Now, I didn't have that set in my kernel, okay? Um, so, is the driver... Well, yeah, I guess so, because everything pretty much in the kernel is a driver. Um, but is it a device driver, like a physical device driver? And uh, I wouldn't really say so. It's not like it's a difference between a Broadcom chip and an Aetherus chip, or something else like that. It's more of a uh, operating system issue within the kernel okay so I did get back that uh, a lot of references pointing to this here and what this is is according to some references and actually according to I think it's a uh, kernel dot org uh, on their site I think you can look up specific drivers and on there I think they said that the CFG 802.11 is um, is not old old but they're not providing any support for it, something else like that so the gist of it is that they're planning to phase that out for I think it is the Mac 80211 or something else like that but this is driver names it doesn't matter but um, they're planning to phase this out so essentially um, I need it and it's not in there Okay, so that's that. I could get that, and I installed that. And actually, after that, I was only halfway there. Also, too, I did find some references references pointing to the IP wireless um, this driver here. Okay, so I kind of dug around, and to stop the story here. 
I installed both of these drivers within the kernel, re recompiled the kernel, and um, I can now uh, ally list and all that other stuff. And I have the um, wireless uh, folder in my directory. I think I have it here too. Yeah, here it is. If you <coughs> go to say, if you were to go to if you were to go to uh, proc net wireless or proc net and list it out in LFS uh, 7.3 I did not have the wireless directory here and what that essentially is cat that out this up for you guys so you guys can see if you cat this out what's going to do is it's going to give you um, signal status and everything else levels noise well that's essential the kernel or uh, IY config and everything else like that needs that um, to to work okay IY list depends on that to work and everything else so there were some other fixes that you could do um, by copying I guess the the proc Procnet dev folder um, is the same thing, but um, the wireless folder, I don't want to call them folders, I'm sorry. Uh, the wireless, I can't really call them files either. <laughs> yeah, I can. The wireless file is only specific to your wireless device, where the dev folder is specific to you, all your devices. Okay? So, that's what I came up with um, by digging around. And um, like I said, I had to uh, enable that in the kernel, recompile the kernel, and I was okay to go after that. So it's not really a device issue, like a physical device, as far as it, you know, Broadcom or some kind of the real tech uh, wireless device. It's a driver issue within the kernel itself. Okay, that enables um, those specifications that we need. All right. So in the next couple of tutorials, I'm going to. Um, show you guys how to re put that in your kernel it's not too intuitive either on how to do it oh well, recompiling your kernel is not hard but I'm going to show you how to uh, do it a little easier and that way is a little uh, is not not the easiest to really uh, think about offhand until you're into it okay cool so that's what I got coming up for this next set if you don't have any problems um, you might not need this, but, uh, watch anyway, in case you do have some problems in time. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next one.